Have you heard of a Swiss knife? A knife which has multiple utilities? Well, something similar is expected today and nowadays from the industry. As you know, biotech industry is evolving at breakneck speed. And the moment I say that, okay, if you as a bio professional has to get jobs into, into the industry, then you have to diversify your career. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, many of you are targeting research jobs. While some of you are targeting jobs in the industry, maybe QA, QC, microbiology, wet lab, dry lab, whatever. Now, the availability of job is not dependent on your availability in that city. But it is also dependent on what is the trend right now, right? So if you are specialized in molecular biology, but a microbiology job has come, you will be like, okay, how can I apply? I'm an expert in molecular biology. So what will happen is now you will lose out on that opportunity. So for, for example, I'll tell you, uh, I remember there was a vacancy in uh, one of the Cancer Research Institute in Bangalore. She had a unique requirement where, where she wanted somebody to do molecular biology work and at the same time go, you know, carry samples and uh, bring it to the lab and stuff, right? And at the same time, she was also involved in some kind of uh, microbiological research also. So she wanted somebody with diverse skill set. Now, if you have only one skill set you're an expert of, which is good, but the industry doesn't expect you to be a master of one skill set, they also want you to have multiple other skill sets also. For example, being a team player, interpersonal skills, communication skills, people handling skills, leadership skills, various other skills like dry lab skills like bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, coding, all such skills. So basically, why they want such kind of uh, diversely skilled candidate is because they want to maximize the output from one person, right? And if you are that person, then probably you can command more salary from the industry. And that is why I keep saying this to all my students that do not keep all the eggs in the same basket. Like you are a microbiology candidate. Think how can you bring in AI into microbiology? If you are a radiology student, think how can you bring bioinformatics into that? If you are a drug discovery student, think how you can involve coding into that. But whatever you do, at the end of the day, getting employed is very important. And if you are trying to get employed into the industry, industry is not interested in you. Rather, industry is interested in maximizing their profit. So if you are that person who can help the industry maximize the profit. Rather, I should say, if you are the Swiss knife of the industry, industry will definitely hire you. And that is what I wanted, wanted to tell you today. No matter whatever you're pursuing right now, that is your expertise, agreed. But you need to have broader expertise in various other segments of biotechnology also. Now remember, biotechnology is actually a bouquet of various biosciences technologies. So if you know what is in the demand in the industry, and if you know how to make it happen, if you know how to learn these skills, where to learn these skills, and then you inculcate that in your CV, your chances of getting selected becomes 100 times more than a regular candidate. So don't be just a virologist. Don't be just a microbiologist. Don't be just a ecologist or a a uh, forestry student or a, a student who is preparing for UPSC or CSIR net or gate have multiple other avenues also so that whatever types of job comes you are ready for it you are fit for it and then employability improves you get employed and that is what will give me satisfaction so let me know in the comment section that what is your expertise and what other skill set you want to learn and we will make sure that we will arrange more experts on that particular skill set for you, right? Now, last part of this video, I want to tell you that never settle. Never think that, okay, I am comfortable, that's it. I've studied, so more than this, I should not. You will be a lifelong student. I am a lifelong student. I'm still a student. I never call myself an expert. I'm, an, I'm a student of biotechnology. So are you. Keep learning, keep innovating, keep relearning, unlearning and Remember that whatever colleges taught you was just the tip of the iceberg. There is more to learn. There is more to practice. 
there is more to work upon and you are going to be a successful biological researcher by 2047. You will be the most coveted, most in-demand researcher of 2047. But if that has to happen, then you have to take the first step today. So we do have a lot of skills uh, development courses. Link is, link is given in the description. Do check it out. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you so much. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.